So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 14th Electron tutorial in which we're gonna improve the layout of our editor for now real quick. Right, so let's just make this button a bit more bigger and better. So we're gonna go with image controls and say that uh, the direction, let's just switch it back to row and say flex wrap to wrap. And what this would essentially allow us to do is uh, create bigger buttons and uh, probably two buttons in one row. Let's just see how we can do that. Now I'm going to say that uh, this div.effect type is uh, uh, with 50%. And uh, we can say that this is in itself is display flex center and uh, if you see that it is not stretched so we can say this is stretched so we get these full boxes right and we can just paste it here and we can finally say that the font size for this is 2 rems or 1.5 would be good I guess for now and let's just change the font family for now to Calibri because this current font hurts my eyes for now. So, font family Calibri and uh, E1. We can say this looks at least better. Okay, so next thing is uh, we need to pretty much design what happens when we click one of these buttons right so in the preview i showed you that we would get a slider sort of thing here and we can just adjust the brightness and contrast and all that features and uh, let's just pretty much do that only so first of all let me just add all the effects which would be uh, let's just say this is cursor pointer and the effect list would pretty much be, or rather, let's just take this out of business and uh, say inside of our edit controller, we can say scope.effects and we can create this as an object and we can say that brightness, B-R-I-G-H-T, brightness is uh, another object or yep which would have or what just happened have a value of 100 at the beginning we want the minimum to be 0 we uh, set the maximum to be 200 right then we would have contrast and similarly some other effects so I'm just gonna do that real quick so here we are and I have added another thing which is the delimiter which would be pretty much how the things would end because things like you rotate makes more sense with a degree instead of a percentage and a blur would make more sense with a pixel instead of percentage right and uh, yep that is all so these are the effects we're going to add in our application and what we're going to do is uh, inside our image controls we're going to say this is div class of uh, what we have in styles effect type right yep and I'm gonna say ng repeat effect and props in effects that's what we named it I guess yep and uh, we can just say effect here and this should probably work e1 it is you can see that we get all, all our effects in order and uh, that is cool actually so let's just add a click event to all of these as well so that we can just actually get what we are clicking we're gonna say ng click is that image effect and we're gonna pass in effect as the parameter so if we create another function scope image effect is a function 
which is the effect name and just console log effect name and see what happens and take a look again e1 it is we open console and we click on brightness you see we get brightness contrast invert and the actual effect name so now actually we can just go ahead and start playing around with css properties and uh, start adding effects so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and in the next one i'm gonna start off with actually making the core of the application that is how we can edit the image so that's all for this one and if you liked it then again don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one